my channel how are you guys doing this week so this video is going to be a tag video I've been seeing it on YouTube and I really thought it's going to be interesting if I did one because I want to share with you and I want you guys to share with me as well so I'm going to tag all of you my YouTube friends even though I don't tag you you are tagged and even though you don't make YouTube videos you're free to leave a comment below the questions are going to be in the description box so let's go my biggest accomplishment for 2014 obviously was my wedding because you know we have been in this relationship for like years and years and years and if we had children our children should be in primary school by now like it's been so long and i just want to thank god that he made it happen it was just so obvious it was the handwork of god um through his grace and through his favor that we finally got married so yeah that's my biggest accomplishment for 2014 my best memory i think it has to tie to my biggest accomplishment as well but i will start from winning the wedding competition because what actually allowed us get married or what was the catalyst for the wedding was um winning a wedding competition which i asked you guys to vote for me and a lot of you did some of you were campaigning when i was sleeping I really want to thank you guys so much so that was my best one of my best memories just winning the competition because I never knew I could win um, even um, Yomi was saying that he's never really won anything before and it was just amazing it, it was a beautiful memory it was a beautiful experience um, another thing would have been the wedding yes so the wedding was actually a very memorable experience I will never forget 2014 in a hurry um also the honeymoon going to dubai you know all these experiences um i i got a lot of um awards in 2014 um i met a lot of new people i got a lot of opportunities i think those memories are, are, are priceless to me so i think almost every month in 2014 was amazing to me so yeah i have a lot of beautiful memories from 2014 i really can pick one for biggest obstacle in 2014, I would say was my mindset because everything starts from your mind. If you believe you can, if you believe you can't, you are right. So I think um, it was just overcoming that negative mindset I always had. I always had this mentality of, oh, why should something good happen to me? Even if they are dashing 10 people, 1 million naira, by the time I get there, it will be at my turn that the, the 1 million naira is going to end. You know that kind of thing i was always feeling like i was never good enough i could never do anything important or i could never achieve anything substantial but in 2014 i really 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 worked on my self-esteem i really really worked on my mindset and i tried to remove all negativity so yes i'm trying to be more positive but i think that was my, my negative mindset was my biggest obstacle and now that I'm, I'm I'm becoming more positive good things are beginning to happen so if you're negative minded like me you might want to start being positive minded because good things happen when you expect it top five favorite beauty products I didn't use a lot of beauty products okay I used a lot of beauty products but yes let me go to my favorites um, the first one is going to be my favorite perfume it's a Hermes perfume I don't know how to pronounce um, the name of the perfume but I'm going to leave it um, in the description bar this is the perfume I love this perfume with all my heart so it's my best in my collection the next item is this dream matte mousse from um, Maybelline it's a foundation it's a light foundation but do you know what um, I actually bought it for someone I bought two so I gave the person one and I decided to try this one and it is absolutely lovely it's been the foundation I've used in my let's say my past five videos now but I didn't use it today but it's a beautiful beautiful foundation I love mascara because I don't use um, falsies I don't use um, eyelash extensions and I love all Maybelline mascaras this is one of my favorites i think is one of the falsest range so any maybelline found um foundation any maybelline mascara the falsest one is my favorite my next item is this skin finish powder from mac 
is um, dark deep mineralized skin finish foundation huh? did I just say foundation powder this powder is my favorite the name is going to be in the description box and then um, last but not the least is my Cantor Share butter um, you know cream leave-in conditioning cream i've been using it for the past one year i love it um you say i've been using it because i've lost the cover of the bangolo now but this is what it is and it's finished so i'm actually meant to replace it so after this video i'm going to go and buy this product again because it actually keeps my hair moisturized and it makes it manageable regrets of 2014 i don't think i have any regrets i don't think i can change anything and i wouldn't want to change anything that happened last year so i don't think i have any regrets to be honest no regrets in here learned to follow my instinct sometimes there's this voice inside your head telling you the right things to do telling you where to go telling you not to do this this is not right listen to that voice because every time i don't listen to that voice i make a mistake and i regret it so i have learned that there is a still small voice that i have to listen to i've also learned that life is simple incredibly simple and we only make it complicated for ourselves i've learned that your life is just a um it's an accumulation of all the choices you make so your life can go this way or that way it's up to you you really really own your life you can make the decision where you want to go and what kind of life you want to live it's all in your hands and in god's hands or in your hands because you make the decisions my favorite phrase um for 2014 i think has to be um the fact that god is still god and that changes everything because when you think about it god's love god's mercy god's grace is so amazing when you experience it and the fact that god is still god it can change anything even if you think Ah, oh, this is quarter to 12. This is the last time. If this thing doesn't happen now, this is the end. God can make it happen in that last one second. God can cause something that doesn't exist to come into existence just to bless you or just for you. So I think that was my favorite phrase and it's still my favorite phrase this year. Oh, most embarrassing moment. Ooh, I don't think I have any actually. I don't know I can't remember and if I actually remember I'm going to do a separate video just for embarrassing moments because I'm sure it was a funny experience but right now I can't remember anything I don't have specific goals for 2015 because you know when you set those goals you just put pressure on yourself but I have an overall or a general goal and that is just to become better at everything I'm doing not to take anything for granted do everything i'm meant to do to be better or double better this year than i was last year i think those are my goals uh or that is my goal for 2015 just to do better to do more to do better what i look forward to in 2015 i really pray and i believe it's going to be better than 2014 and i believe at the end of 2000 i'm going to come back and watch this video and realize oh my god it was way more better than i imagined and i hope that's going to be the same experience for you guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm going to see you soon don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and don't forget to leave your comments about um, what I just talked about. So what were your greatest achievements for 2015? No, 2014. What were your greatest achievements for 2014? And just share your experiences with me. Speak to you soon. Bye.